very successful cabinet meeting this morning. Nigeria is turning the tables on the UK, demanding that it returns assets held there by corrupt Nigerians. It comes after British Prime Minister David Cameron labelled the country and others as fantastically corrupt. His comments to Queen Elizabeth caught on camera. Well, well first of all, I better check the microphones on before speaking. It's probably a good um, idea. Countries like Nigeria and Afghanistan, their leaders are battling hard against very corrupt systems and countries. And in both their cases, they've made some remarkable steps forward, and that's why I'm so keen to welcome them to the anti-corruption conference here in London. But where I part company with my honourable friend is I don't think it would be right to withdraw the aid that we give, because, frankly, the problems in those countries, they come back and haunt us here, whether it is problems of migration or problems of terrorism and all the rest of it. Mr President, has David Cameron insulted Nigeria? Cameron's corruption remarks came ahead of a global anti-corruption summit he's hosting and that will be attended by Nigeria's president. No, I, I'm not going to demand any apology from anybody. <laughs> what I'm demanding is the return of assets. Afghanistan is also invited to the summit. An MP there is describing Cameron's comments as an insult. And there's a call for countries like the UK to shoulder some blame. Corruption exists in Afghanistan, he says. There's no doubt about it. But the UK itself, America and the international community have had a hand in spreading corruption in Afghanistan. The presidents of both Afghanistan and Nigeria have pledged to clean up corruption. Cameron's summit aims to step up global action.